Good morning from, we're actually in the parking lot of the Grand Floridian. We are on our way in because we made a lunch reservation at the Grand Floridian Cafe. It is one of our favorite places to eat at Walt Disney World, especially for brunch. Another thing that we're going in to see is Easter is fast approaching, so they have all kinds of chocolate Easter eggs and a, a special display all inside the Grand Floridian that we're gonna go check out. So it should be a fun, like a resort day. The whole family's here. We've got Jen and Jackson and Lynn is with us too. So it's gonna be a fun-filled Easter egg and breakfast, lunch, brunch type day. Let's go inside. Monorail. Monorail. There it goes. And we're looking at the DVC units for Grand Floridian. They're actually converting a section of the other buildings over here to DVC as well. I think we'll be able to see some of that construction as we're going. Jackson brought a ball with him, right buddy? So we can kind of see over here I think this is the building that they are converting to DVC. It is the closest to the building that is already DVC. And they're doing some roof work on it. You smell them, buddy? Those haven't opened yet. Yeah, this is Jasmine and it smells magnificent. Wow, bud. Did you smell it? Did you smell it, buddy? He goes <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's kind of like right across from the main building too, the one that they're working on. But yeah, this is definitely the building that they're converting to DVC. Ah, the Grand Floridian feels good. We're gonna see, we're gonna go over and check out the Grand Cottage and there's all these Easter eggs around the lobby. We're gonna check those out after breakfast or brunch or lunch or whatever we get. But it's also very quiet in here today. They have a list of all these recreational activities. White Rabbit's Pocket Watch Hunt. Movie Under the Star. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. What is today? Today is Thursday. We could watch Tangled at 8.15 tonight. There's also a campfire, and then I think this looks interesting. A video game dance party at 7.45. wonder what that is. Also, check it out. The G-Flow Glow Party. G-Flow Glow. Oh, they smell so nice, buddy. These are my favorite flowers. Yeah. They smell so good. These are lilies. Jen usually likes stargazer lilies. I don't know what the difference is. I think these are Easter lilies. These are Easter yeah, lilies. They smell really good, though. We're going to go eat lunch first, but I wanted to give you guys a little preview of what you can get at the Grand Cottage. All kinds of yummy treats. Then we're gonna have a look at some of these other chocolate creations back here after lunch. All right, this is where we're checking in, but we're gonna check and see if they can do any tables outside. So we checked in at Grand Floridian Cafe. They said they're gonna seat us outside. If not, we could have gotten to go food and just ate over at Gasparilla's or something, but I wanted to get a little bit closer look at what's happening over here with the DVC. This is the Villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. A grand new way to stay magical. Who stopped by the lobby desk to explore a model villa today? Should we do that? Why not? Right? Is it going to be one of these though? That's the question. Are these going to be exactly the same as the ones that are already here? All right, so we're at the table. <laughs> Jackson in his booster seat. Yeah, I just wanted to show everybody the new menu. So it's, it's themed to Alice's Wonderland Bakery, which is a new show yeah, on it. Disney Junior, which we love. But yeah, this is the kids' menu. Oh, you can get chicken breast, scrambled eggs, waffles, pancake with sprinkles. Ooh. Ooh. And I then you it. get two sides to go with. Worms and dirt. Yeah, I love that. Maybe we'll do that for him. And then oh. it comes with like a whole activity book. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, look like at that. Teaching you about Buzz Lightyear. Is this a movie or a TV it's show? It's a movie. Is it a movie? Yeah. Ah, okay. And then here she is on the back. The show's really cute though. If you haven't seen it and you have little kids or if you just like stuff like this, this is a, a good one. Yeah, it's fun. Remember when you used to do this and you would get all of your colors together and it would make like three lines? I think that's what he's trying to accomplish. So we were looking at the menu and Tim was saying it's that- It's gonna be the hardest to decide what I want. There's like five things on the menu that I want to eat. Everything looks so good. Right? Are you gonna do the Mickey shaped waffle? Maybe the traditional eggs Benedict looks good. This chicken and waffle looks good. This grand breakfast looks good. Oh no, hold on, it's good. There we go. It's like everything looks delicious. Ooh, the steak and egg sounds good too. The cheesy hash brown casserole. Right? I think I'm gonna get the salmon. Okay, down That's here, the, one the miso the... glazed salmon. Yeah, it's so delicious. Every time I, I've ever gotten it, it's been really good, so. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, I think I might get the chicken and waffle. Yeah. It sounds like a good, a good thing. Well, and then our server recommended the salad, heirloom apple salad with apples, cheddar, pecan brittle, and crispy prosciutto. Yeah. 
honey so, apple vinaigrette. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that because she recommended it. It sounds really nice. It does sound really good. So there's that. I don't know what Jackson's gonna do. What do you want to eat, Jackson? Do you want pancakes? Yeah, he's like, I just want a color. You I like want how, chicken? I like how he's actually reading it. This it's like, like the newspaper. <laughs> checking, checking the stocks. Oh, I wanted to give you guys the QR code so that you could scan and have a look at the menu if you were interested. This is what we're gonna be choosing from today. So we got a ton of stuff on the table right now, but we did get this iridescent sipabration, which I haven't been able to see because it's been sold out for a while, but it is available now. So Jackson's gonna drop the Mickey head in. It's like a oh. bath bomb for a drink, like a sugary bath bomb. But not, it's not a bath bomb. Yeah, it's sugar. It's, okay. it's for, you, for you to drink, <laughs> okay. but the same idea, like you drop it in. It'll be like sparkly. Yeah. Do you wanna put it in, buddy? Let's drop it in. Good job, buddy. Whoa. Look at it go. Thank you so much. Have a Does it look glittery? Not yet, but we have to stir it up. Oh yeah, can you mix it? Here's one of the, here's a spoon. Can you mix it, bud? Okay. Give it a little mix. Stir it up. Whoa. Good job. How's it taste? Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks so very that's the, the 50th sipabration. All right, I've stirred it up, and you can kind of see see the iridescent like pearlization going, some of the sparkling happening. It kind of does look like a bath bomb. Yeah. Also, for an appetizer, I got the apple heirloom salad. This looks awesome. It's got crispy prosciutto, apples, apple vinaigrette, and then Jen got the. Jumbo shrimp cocktail. Oh yeah, and it's on a it's on a like a citrus salad underneath. Ooh, it's nice. really it's really really good. And a latte. The managers have brought out a fruit plate for Jackson. What is that thing that you have there, buddy? I think that is a like a fig like a toast. Fig, a fig cake. Look at that face. He loves it. <laughs> <But anyway. laughs> Do you want to try the? That is a melon. Oh, I want to taste this. Oh yeah. I love that we get this little cup too. Oh yeah, it's a souvenir cup. This one is a honeydew. It's like strawberry lemonade. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. It kind of tastes like melted sorbet. Okay. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's really good though. The sun was hitting it just right. And you can really see the iridescence. Mm. Breaking. <laughs> the carpet's being delivered to the new DVC units and while we know what the carpets look like and possibly the cabinets too. I don't know what's in the boxes. Look at that. Now we know it's blue and white. You saw it here first, folks. Jackson, what did you get? We got a Mickey pancake with some chocolate chips and some sprinkles. Somebody's not having a nap today. <laughs> it's party time. Wow. Jen got the miso glazed salmon, which looks delicious. Oh my gosh, yeah. Comes with sticky rice and some green beans. It's lemon scented sticky rice. Ooh. Does it smell like lemons? I think you don't it does. taste it, you only smell it. Yeah. And then I got the chicken and waffles, and look at that. It's like a hidden Mickey made out of chicken. Oh yeah. So Perfect. they said it was it was um, what cornflakes? Yeah, it's breaded with cornflakes and then it has a sriracha honey glaze on it. It looks so or sriracha good. honey drizzle, yeah. And then and I got extra crispy bacon. And she asked, that was something that I thought was really awesome. She's like, Do you want it extra crispy or do you want it regular? And they've they've never asked before. Right. So that was like Pretty amazing. Our server is Isabel. She's great. Yeah. And then Lynn got brioche French toast. Is that the hash brown? The cheesy hash brown? It is. That looks so good. That does look good. So after brunch, I guess, Jackson's out here playing golf. They have some like wow. golf obstacle course stuff set up. Is it a bouncy golf ball? It looks like For it was For the kind kids of to play with. I was a little dirty. Here, here I was saying breaking about the blue and white rugs and literally they have a room set up that we could go and see today and like see those rugs in person like it's all done they've already made the decisions and you can just see them anytime you want to but uh, we don't have time to go visit the new rooms today but we are going to come back because we've been talking about dvc for so long and we've talked to so many of you who are dvc members that are like here are all the reasons why you should do it and i just feel like maybe it is something we should really consider i think so so i think so i also want to talk to our friend adam because he did he signed up for dvc this past year yeah and i just want to see what his thoughts too okay 
so but right now we're gonna look at the easter eggs yeah so jackson's still outside playing golf with lynn and mm -hmm. we're gonna like hang out and check out the easter eggs they look beautiful from here all right so all of these eggs are made out of chocolate and everything around them is made out of chocolate like even these little like shavings down here on the base is chocolate this one's chip and dale i love it and they're like sharing an easter egg and the egg is like wood yeah it's like a log a moss covered log mm -hmm. And there are hidden eggs down the bottom. Like there's like all planned out for an Easter egg hunt with butterflies and dragonflies and little toadstools. Wow. They look really cool. Oh, this one's like Fantasia. Fantasia. Yeah. I love the little flowers. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's like look at the base that it's on too. Do you think that base is made out of chocolate? I don't know. I wonder how it holds it up. I don't think it is made out of chocolate. <laughs> I think it's just a base. Oh yeah, so this is the scene where all the baby unicorns and pegasuses, pegasi, are like learning from their parent over there. And this next one is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Amazing. Like look at this. Look at look at Snow White over here. And look at a little tiny dopey over there. It's the size of a toadstool. And then all of the other dwarves down here on their little mine train. Going into the mine. Oh, it's lit. Oh, they use one of those glow cubes. That's smart. That's the way to do it. That way you didn't have to wire it up. Just uh, every once in a while you gotta change out a glow cube. Readily available here too. They put those glow cubes in everything. Oh, look. Does it say Happy Easter Joanna? Who's Joanna? I feel like it's from the, the Rescuers. Is there a Joanna in that movie? Uh, who is, Bianca? I think so. So this I think is one of the lizards that is owned by the bad person, like the villain from the Rescuers. I gotta look it up. So this is Joanna and she is from the Rescuers down under. I thought she was just from the Rescuers. She is McLeach's pet and her, I like this, her hobbies include eating eggs and intimidating animals. Ooh, this basket is made entirely out of bread. Oh. Except for the ribbon. Is it I a bread ribbon? I was gonna say, how does that work? <laughs> They're very I wonder, talented. I wonder if the, uh, like the hay is made out of bread. I don't think so, right? I can't tell. I can't, I don't, I don't want to like get too close. Little bread bunnies. I like that idea. I like bread eggs. And then we got a few other little chocolate bunnies and eggs over here. And then look at this up house. There's Carl's house from up, and the balloons are the egg part. Everything's made out of chocolate. How do you think they're holding up this balloon? Like, there's got to be some, like, serious internal supports in there, right? Like, in order to get it here. They didn't make it here. They had to transport it. It's like that show where they make, on, on Food Network, where they make those, like, ridiculous cakes. Yeah. And then they have to put them on the table to be judged, and then they, like, break before they can get to the table. They have to drive them across town in a convertible. <laughs> yeah. Look at the detail on this, though. Like, it. it even says Carl and Ellie on the uh, mailbox. And then you can see Carl in the window there. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Is Russell yeah. anywhere around, or Doug? There's Doug. Doug's in the window over here. I like, this is brilliant. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with the green aliens. Then there's a little, little thing here that says, photo spot, because she's taking his photo. I mean, he's wearing bunny ears. So great. Oh, and then there's 101 Dalmatians. Fun fact. Did you know that there were only 99 puppies? Well, yeah, because the parents were the other two. Ah. Yeah, Perdita and other one. Also, I wanted to mention that there is a photo pass photographer over here. Yeah. And that's something that they brought back to the resorts. So I want to make sure that we get our picture before we leave. Poncho. Poncho. Yes, yeah. yeah. And they're doing like wedding photography up here. And there's like a bunny strapped to the railing. So we met a cast member and they showed us a hidden Mickey outside. So I'm outside right now. Just underneath. See, this is the monorail station over here. And he said that there is a painter that works here. That whenever they are painting the resorts, they'll leave a hidden Mickey. So this resort is white, and right outside the door, over here on the curve, there's a couple of hidden Mickeys on the curb that the painter put there. The hardest to find ever hidden Mickeys. 
you would never even think to look there. But yeah, whoever painted this area white just came over and like put a few hidden Mickeys down here. So inside of the main lobby, another thing that the cast member told us is that this doily was Lillian's doily, Lillian Disney, Walt Disney's wife. So he was telling us that this was a doily that she would pull out for like special company. Right. But there's no like plaque or anything. Yeah. You would think there would be. That's amazing. That's wild. And then he also told us, I want to tell you, because this is really cool. I didn't know yeah. this. So he said that the chandeliers here in the lobby each have 44 light bulbs in them because together that makes up 88 and the Grand Floridian opened in 1988. That's a pretty neat little fact right there, right? That is neat. I, I had no idea. How do you plan something like that out? What if there was a delay? Would they like add one more light bulb somewhere? <laughs> they also said that this bird cage here used to house two love birds. It doesn't house any birds anymore, but it was built in Spain. It has a dragon motif because 1988 was the year of the dragon. I feel like this one's super impressive. It's like Cinderella's carriage and it is massive, entirely made out of chocolate. Oh yeah, it has its own license plate too. Is the license plate made out of chocolate? I think so. It's a chocolate license plate. Is her birthday in February? Oh, maybe. Cinderella's birthday's in February? <laughs> they just released all of the birth dates for the family madrigal. I saw that. Yeah. I have the same birthday as Louisa. Ooh. She was born, we were born on the same day. Wow, look yeah. at you. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. They had to put this one behind glass. It's like Humpty Dumpty. There's a Cheshire cat up the Cheshire cat up there. Wow. What is happening? Oh yeah, there's Humpty Dumpty. He fell down. All the king's horses and all the king's men are trying to put him back together again. What are these little like, there's the white rabbit. Is this, was there a Humpty Dumpty in Alice in Wonderland? Oh, check out this stitch one. It's on a surfboard. What are these, what are these numbers and stuff here? It says like 119 and D12, 624. Oh, these are all of the different experiments. So he's experiment number 626. And these are the other experiments. Oh, Treasure Planet. It's kind of sad that they had to like put a plaque there saying like, this is Treasure Planet. But I get it. Not a lot of people have seen Treasure Planet. Okay. Now what's, this one just kind of looks like the rainforest, right? Was this, was this some lily pads and stuff? I gotta look on the back side of it and see if it says something else. Because it does just kind of look like, like the rainforest, like a, a swamp with a tree frog. Oh, there they are. It's, it's the, the Avengers and Groot down there. Look at that. Man, we got a Wakanda scene over there. The Black Panther is kind of around the side over here. Then we got Steve and Hawkeye Amy, what time do we and Iron now? Man. It's neat that they did like something all around. And then you have the Avengers A on the bottom. Look at this baby Yoda right here. That's super fun. Or Grogu, sorry. Is that a little hidden Mickey made out of neon blue macarons? A little Mandalorian necklace. Okay. Some honey, like Winnie the Pooh honey. This one is... Just horses, I guess? Around a big egg? Are these all of the different horses of Disney characters? I feel like they might be. Maybe. They could also just be the horses here at Walt Disney World. Oh. Speaking of Encanto, there it is. There's, there's Maribel. And Isabella. And I like that they put lights around this one too. Oh no, they're not lights, they're butterflies. Did you guys notice like the heavy influence of butterflies in this movie? Oh yeah, look. The floors are starting to come up for the casita. Oh, and they have the candle and everything. That's cool. And this one's Epcot. And they added the lights into it too. Like there's Figgy up on top. That's cool. I love this. Spaceship Earth Egg. This one is themed to the 50th anniversary. So you can see they've got the blueprints down here. And Walt with his pointing stick, pointing out the blueprints. 
and his name tag down there as well. Mickey Mouse is on the other side. You see Cinderella Castle. And then right here, there was a Pixar short called Piper. And I believe that this one is based off of that Pixar short. Oh man, Luca, this is awesome. There's Alberto and Lu Luca, kind of like in between sea monster and human form. Raya and the Last Dragon. It's so cool. Like the detail in these is amazing. And then I think this one, yeah, it's the white rabbit right there. So another Alice in Wonderland. Ratatouille. I like that they made the whole book. Anyone can cook. Look, and there it is. There's a hidden Mickey on top of the Ratatouille. Oh, they put this one behind glass too. It's frozen. I wonder if the ones for, that are behind glass are ones that they've saved from years past. Maybe. I don't know. And there's a giant chocolate bunny right here. I feel like he's giving me the side eye. On the back of the Walt Disney one, there is his window. It's the Walt Magic Kingdom Casting Agency. It takes people to make a dream a reality. Walter Elias Disney. And then you got Roy's name tag down there too. Here's a little bit closer look at the things that are available here at the Grand Cottage. Some giant eggs. Ooh, a little piece of carrot or like a, a cake that's in the shape of a carrot. Some Rice Krispie treats. A little cupcake it looks like with a chick on top of it. 50th. Like a, maybe like a cookie cake type thing. What is this? Is this all popcorn up here? I think it is, yeah. And giant eggs. Oh yeah, oh what's this? This looks like something that I want. Oh yeah, they have them all in display out here. And this one was raspberry fudge. Ooh, look, and this one's like a like a whoopie pie almost. Oh man, oh that's what I want right there, that cookie sandwich. Ooh, definitely. Well then you can have them make a basket for you, $133. Also, we stopped in to Curiouser Clothiers and I wanted to point out that they sell all kinds of like high-end brands here like Lily and Vineyard Vines. And they also have like Grand Floridian merch specific to Grand Floridian. But here was the thing that I thought was interesting. They have the coach stuff, like all the coach purses and the bags and the slides and things like that. And you can get your annual pass holder discount here. Yeah, so I got a couple of Lily Pulitzer dresses for the cruise and I got my pass 20 discount. 20% off. That's, I didn't think you could do that. Right? Yeah. A good pretty, deal. Pretty exciting. Yeah, come you can here. Get a Grand Floridian, uh, Grand Floridian robe right here. Very nice. Yeah. So we got a few things from the Grand Cottage on the way out, and they told us that a lot of the stuff here is gluten free. So if you are interested in gluten free items, they have a lot of them. And also, this chick right here, this chick cupcake is entirely plant-based. Look, there goes the ponies. It looks like somebody's gonna be having a magical carriage ride for their wedding. Look at that. Cinderella's carriage. Was that so cool? So I'm on my way over to Gasparilla. I placed an order for one of their Easter treats, but I also wanted to point out there are PhotoPass photographers kind of all over the place. All right, here it is. This is what I got from Gasparilla. It is called a peanut butter bunny cookie pretty big it's like the size of a num num cookie I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat it right now but we will be eating it today for sure oh, it has a hole in it one for just one dollar now okay now put the dollar in you don't have to push any buttons oh, here, now, go ahead, buddy, push it in. You know, it's all lit up. Whoa. All right, and he said he wanted this first one. Okay, so, so which push, one do you want? Touch that one. Touch it again. Good job. Okay, there oh, it is. Oh, there it goes. Go get one of your friends and family. Oh, get Go one, get for, one all. for all of your friends and family. Oh no. I thought this machine it. is trying to upcharge us. Well, it's see, now we're gonna, penny. we're gonna watch the penny go in. I think. Oh, there it there is. There it goes. Did you see it? All right, Are now you? look, look oh. down here. Pull it out. Oh, look at that. It's an Alice. Alice in Wonderland. Wow. That fun. Yeah, here you go, bud. Don't lose it. It's very special. All right, so we are back home now, and now it's time to try these little treats that we got while we were out and about. So the first thing that I'm going to try, I'm going to open this real loud, is the peanut butter bunny cookie from Gasparilla Grill. 
So Gasparilla is the quick service, like grab and go type restaurant over at Grand Floridian. And this peanut butter bunny cookie was $4.99. No other information about it, other than that it's peanut butter and it's a bunny. And you can see there is a little bunny guy. Like a little, like a little sugar bunny there on the top. So I don't know like what other, what this flavor of cream is here. I'm just gonna go into it, give it a bite, see what it tastes like. I love peanut butter, so I'm gonna assume that this is gonna be delicious. Okay, let's give it a bite here. Pretty good. It is a lot of cookie, so you, you kind of get your money's worth out of it being such a large cookie. If you like peanut butter cookies, this is a very typical peanut butter cookie. You can see what this flavor of this icing is here. Normal like sugar icing. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I like it. Only thing that would make it better would be chocolate chips or even like peanut butter chips. All right, so the next two things we got from the little cottage that is in the center of the Grand Floridian, like in the main lobby there, these were pretty expensive. So this is a carrot blondie, a carrot blondie pop. So a blondie is just kind of like a, like a yellow brownie instead of it being chocolate. I think it's just like cake, basically. I think they're charging you for the looks of it. This carrot blondie pop doesn't, doesn't taste like carrot, by the way. Uh, seven dollars. Right, let's give it a try. Hmm. Okay, so they're calling this a blondie. I think it's just a cake pop because normally a blondie is as dense as a brownie. This doesn't feel as dense as a brownie. It kind of looks as dense as a piece of cake. It is good, but it is more cake-like. I feel like this is just like a cake pop. So far, that's behind the peanut butter cookie, but also keep in mind, I do love peanut butter. The next thing was $7.50, and this is a chocolate chip sandwich cookie. Now, this, it had a purple ribbon around it. I just took the purple ribbon off, but this was $7.50. Oh, this is gluten-friendly as well. So this uses rice flour, whole grain brown rice flour, potato starch, uh, whole grain sorghum flour, tapioca flour. Yeah, oh my goodness, these cookies are like the softest cookies I've ever feel like I'm gonna destroy it just holding it. I feel like it's just gonna fall apart. All right, so this is two chocolate chip cookies, two gluten-friendly chocolate chip cookies uh, with buttercream sandwich between them. But even though it's called buttercream, there was nothing on the ingredients that said butter. Hmm, that's pretty good, but look, look at how much it's already falling apart. Oh my goodness. It's so strange, cause like the top of that just like crushed under its own weight. But like, I feel like the bottom is not doing that. Oh my goodness, yeah it is. This tastes really good, but it does make a mess. It falls apart so easily. Wow. Also, there is no butter in that buttercream for sure. Um, yeah, that was good. I don't know. This peanut butter cookie is definitely my favorite of the three. Then I think the sandwich, I wish it did stay together better, but it still tasted good. And then the last on my list is the blondie, the blondie did taste good, but it's not my like flavor profile. You know what I mean? I would rather have had just a brownie. Like give me a brownie, put the, make it look like a carrot. It would have been delicious. But yeah, there you go. Those were our three treats that we got at the Grand Floridian. Today was great. Like I really enjoyed the Grand Floridian. It was awesome. It was neat seeing like those hidden Mickeys that we found. Brunch was delicious. The eggs were so cool to see. Like, don't sleep on a Grand Florian Cafe. It's very good. I would suggest it. It was great. So, with that being said, we are off, and we will see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.